Hey, welcome to the show. I have some division of mixed numbers. You ready to do it? Yeah, let's get started. All right, my math ninjas, we have two and five, six divided by four and a third. And this is really similar to when you multiply uh, fractions and whole numbers. And But uh, we're gonna end up switching this number over. I'm gonna talk about that more in detail as we go. And we're gonna talk about the KSF, that is keep, switch, and then flip. All right, that's not uh, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, it's KSF. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that as we go. But first of all, what we need to do is we need to turn these into an improper fraction. So let's go ahead and do that. Remember how you turn it into an improper fraction? We're going to multiply six times two, and then we're gonna add the five, all right? And the same thing over on this side. So six times two is 12, 12 plus five, 17. So let's go ahead and write 17 right here. And then we're going to keep the same denominator. That is 6. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and put the division symbol right here. And you're going to go ahead and do the same thing. 3 times 4 is 12 plus the 1 is 13. So we put 13 right here over the same denominator of 3. All right, now what we do is that formula right here, the keep, switch, flip formula. And I'm gonna keep this first number right here, seven, the same fraction, 17 over six, all right? Now I'm going to switch. I'm gonna switch division over to multiplication, all right? And now I'm going to flip. I'm gonna flip this number, just, just turn it right around so the, the denominator will be the numerator, the three will be up on top, and then the 13 will be down below. So now we are all set to multiply. So before I start multiplying, I always like to see, can I simplify it? Of course, I can take a three out of here and a three out of here. So I'm gonna cross this one out. Three divided by three is one, and six divided by three is two. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just multiply 17 times one, which would be Move this paper over here, 17. And then two times 13, you just double 13, and that would be 26, all right? And now this is a proper fraction. It's not an improper fraction. The number on the top is smaller than the number on the bottom. So this is good to go and to circle that so your teacher can see your answer. Hey, ready to get started on another one? Yeah, let's do it. All right, again, I'm gonna write those initials up here. K, S, F. Remember what they stand for? Well, you can't see it. Remember what they stand for? That means keep, switch, and flip. All right, let's just start by, what do we need to do here? What do we need to do? That's right, we need to turn them into improper fractions. So we take two times three equals six, and then six plus one equals seven. So I put seven here, keep the same denominator, which is two, and then divide. And then seven times three equals 21, 22, 23. So I put 23 right here over seven. Remember we multiplied here and then we add right there. Now we do that secret formula. Don't tell anybody about that secret formula there. It's the keep, switch, flip, so we keep this number, we switch this over to multiplication, and then we flip this number right here, seven over 23. All right, now, can I simplify anything? No, you can't. So then we just go ahead and multiply it out. Seven times seven equals 49, and then two times 23, what is that? That is 46. All right, are we done? No, we're not done because look right here, that number on the top is too big. It's still an improper fraction. We can't have that. We cannot have an improper fraction go into a party. No, we need to turn that back into a proper fraction or a mixed number. How do you do that? We're gonna divide. So I'm gonna take 46 right here and put the 49 there. I'm dividing 49 by 46. Ah, I know this is a big number, but it's pretty easy because you can't you can't take 46 times 2 it's going to be too big just do it by 1 1 times 46 
equals 46. Then you subtract. 9 minus 6 is 3. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this 1 right there. That's going to be our whole number. Boom. And then we're going to take 3, which is our numerator, over 46, which is our denominator. Easy cheesy lemon squeezy. All right. Hey, I bet you're getting good at this, aren't you? Yeah. And it's so much fun because we can do multiplication, division, addition, oh, wow, subtraction, all kinds of fun stuff. Ready to do one more? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Again, let's get in the habit of doing that uh, secret formula. K S F. What does that stand for? Keep. Switch. And flip. Okay. Again, we need to turn them into an improper fraction. So I'm going to multiply 9 times 2, 18, then plus the 4, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So I put the 22 over the 9. And then I keep the division there. Then I do the same thing. 3 times 5, 15, plus the 1, 16. 16 over 5. All right. Now, can I, what do I do? What do I do? Um, now I need to keep, switch, and flip, don't I? Yeah need to do that. So now I'm going to go ahead and keep this number the same, 22 over 9. And now I switch, which would be multiplication. Now I flip, so this would be 5 here over 16. After you do this, don't do it right there in this process here. After you do this, when you turn it into multiplication, then you can simplify. So can we simplify? Well, I'd notice right here that this is a um, an even number and an even number. So I know I can divide them both by a 2. Right? I might even be able to break it down more. But let's just uh, see what happens. So 22 divided by 2 is 11. All right? Over 9. And then 5. And then 16 divided by 2 is 8. Can I do any more simplifying? No, you cannot. So now I'm going to go ahead and multiply it straight out. 11 times 5, 55. And then 9 times 8. You know that trick with 9s? 1 less than 8 is 7. What, what plus 7 equals 9? 2. So it's 72. 9 times 8, 72. Take a look at that. Is that an improper fraction? No, it's a proper fraction. You can go to the party! Hey, thanks for watching the show today. And it adjustable desk. Love it. I just love it. And I love working with multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, and you get to do all that fun stuff with, uh, you know, division of mixed numbers with fractions. Ooh, it's just so much fun. It's like a jar full of cookies. Um, now I'm getting kind of hungry. But uh, yeah, keep that secret formula, the KSF. All right. Don't think of it as uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC. Now I'm starting to get hungry again. Cookies and Kentucky Fried Chicken gotta go. Oh my goodness, my stomach is starting to rumble a little bit thinking of that KFC and the cookies. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show. We will talk to you later and have a great day. Adios! Goodbye!